Hey guys, Stinger30 here. I've just um, want to talk to you guys about making up some mud flaps for the e Revo. It's a nice cheap mod that you can make to your car. This idea is not mine, and if anybody knows who was it was in the first place, then hey, let me know and I'll um, put credit to the person below. Um, what I've done is I've I'll put, a, I'll put a link down below too so you can download the file too. Um, I found this with uh, Google Images some time ago. Um, the top piece of paper has been printed out in letter format and the one behind it has been printed out in A4. As you can see there's a little bit of size difference. Now the reason I did it like this is because the person that did this I think it looks like when I found the thing they came from America but as I said man I don't know who they are. Um, but whoever it was say thanks because this is such a great idea. Um, but yeah, I've printed it out in letter and A4 format just so you can see the difference because I live in Australia and our default paper size here is, is A4. So I actually printed mine out as letter format. Um, but yeah, if you print anything out yourself, both when you're going to tell anything to print on your printer, tell it the different sizes. Tell it letter at first and then A4 and you can see for yourself. It's not brain surgery once you've got this thing, um, once you've got this thing um, print it out, just um, chop up a, um, a plastic milk bottle and use that to make your mud flaps. Um, it makes a big difference on the back of the car. I didn't put any on the front. Um, I did this many, many months ago and what I did was I actually pulled the front, swapped the front and rear drive shafts around. Now you can have a look at the condition of my front drive shafts and you can see a little pit, pitted and look pretty terrible. These ones were on the back and what I did was, as I said, I swapped them around from the back to the front and put the front ones on the back. And as soon as I put the front ones on the back, I also put on the mud flaps. Now let's have a look at the rear ones. Have a look at the condition of the drive shafts. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, big deal, there's no pits and no marks in there, whatever, whoop de do. Well, not only does it keep the garbage off the drive shafts, keep out the rocks and stuff off the drive shafts, but also another thing it does, it also stops all the dirt and rocks and stuff from getting inside the diff assembly. Um, because the Erevo on the back in particular is very, very bad and very notorious for getting filled full of dirt and all sorts of garbage in the back of the car. So if we keep all the dirt and garbage out of the car, we can keep the car running longer and make it easier for us to maintain. So we're doing ourselves a favour. So, once we've got the fellow chopped out of the um, milk bottles, just a simple matter of attaching it just with a couple of zip ties. And just make sure your suspension moves up and down nice and freely, and that's it. You're done. As I said, there's no need to put the thing on the front. You can if you want. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, you can try it. I never have. But the main thing is these things is to put these fellas on the back. Um, so yeah, as I said, not my idea. Whose ever idea it was, thank you so much for it. I really appreciate it. And if you happen to know who the person was, then hey, just let me know. And I'll absolutely give them full credit for it. Thank you.